Notice what this patriot says, and then what Dr. Hines says. Well, good morning, board. Dave Smith uh, again here to nag and please ask you to think about what's going on. You know, we, uh, we've we had all these wonderful proclamations. Jim Click, who's been a wonderful citizen here. I remember him coming into our radio TV production uh, class at U of A 52 years ago. That's how old I am. And uh, the young dynamic uh, car dealer come to town to tell us his marketing strategy. And uh, we all uh, enjoyed it. We Back then we all said, well, that's exactly right, Hank. Well, whenever the whole rugby team said that. Uh, and you know, it's good that you guys are celebrating him because he has been a wonderful, uh, you know, force uh, for good in this community. But the thing I'm asking you to think about, uh, there's a lot of things, there's forces for bad going on. The Tohono Odom Reservation is now asking for federal help. Uh, the cartels are invading and the and, and tribal uh, uh, problems all over this country. You know, having worked on the Navajo Reservation, I know how difficult drugs and other uh, uh, addictions can be. And yet here we have the, the, the cartels moving in and creating all these process, the pr problems in the, on the reservations. It's great to have a proclamation, but it's a moot proclamation if you don't show concern by actually enforcing the laws. Now, ironically, you're going to have a resolution in a minute that actually you're going to encourage people to break the law. And yet you all took an oath of office. Did everyone here? Sam, you took an oath of office and you're an attorney, a county attorney. And you have signed off on that proclamation and that would be encouraging people to not obey a law. Now you're breaking your oath of office. The oath of office says this, it says that you will impartially enforce the laws. I know when I was a street cop, there were laws I thought weren't particularly good. There were ordinances, certainly, I thought were a little silly. But I didn't have the choice to say, no, you know what, we don't, that's an, uh, uh, that law is not right. That's why you have, you're a legislative body. You pick and choose your own ordinances, you enforce them. Often people don't agree with them. But I ask you to think about these things. You make an oath of office. Part of it is to take care of the communities, all the communities. You're here for the common good. That includes just not have Tohono Odom uh, uh, talks about the land, but talk about the security and welfare of our people. And the security and wel welfare of all the people here. It's great, a proclamation for fighting fires. I swear, I, I would spend several years fighting fires up on the Coconino. It's better to prevent a fire than fight it because it's really hard in, in wild lands. But I appreciate it when you do these proclamations, but I would also appreciate it when you follow your oath and don't encourage disobedience. Whatever you feel about an issue, you have sworn an oath to enforce the laws. And demagoguing it doesn't help, doesn't resolve it. So I ask you to think about those things. Think about the, the common good for Pima County. That is your responsibility. That's your obligation. So I just ask you to think about that. Thank you. Thank you. Now watch what Dr. Hines says. Respond to a criticism. Don't see anything, so we're going to move on. Thank you. Thank you for everyone who came. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Supervisor Hines. Yes, if I could briefly, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Okay, just briefly on the subject of uh, that was brought up by, I believe, Dave Smith and others and our most recent speaker with regard to the uh, near total abortion ban and the resolution that I proposed. Um, I just wanted to make a couple of quick remarks. Um, Firstly, I think it's important for everyone to understand that this was done at a time in 1864 when the state of Arizona was a territory and also an active rebelling member of the Confederacy. I think this is not just from the territorial legislature, it's from a then enemy of the Union. This is a big deal. Uh, to have an Arizona Supreme Court endorsing, enforcing, uh, reinstating something that was passed by Confederate territorial lawmakers, of course not women, um, you know, by the light of candle scrawling on parchment from inkwells with quill pens. Uh, the age of consent was 10, 10 years old in 1864. And uh, yeah, disobedience, disobedience to a Confederate territorial law, I'm absolutely, absolutely fine with encouraging that. So uh, thank you for your remarks, Mr. Smith, and I appreciate you being here as always. It was uh, very nice that he added those remarks at the end. Um, but a few things, right? Uh, first of all, um, 
something that really sticks out to me is, is the claim that the abortion ban has to be repealed because it's a, a 160 year old near total abortion ban uh, passed by an all male legislature at a time when women lack the right to vote, right? Uh, in other words, that he's claiming that uh, old equals bad. And I, it just seems silly to me since some of the best things in our world are very old <laughs> and much better than uh, very new things. For example, the U.S. Constitution, uh, which was ratified over 236 years ago, and the Declaration of Independence, it was written over 247 years ago. Uh, by contrast, we can name multiple bad constitutions and forms of government that are much more recent. Also, the right to life is the first right mentioned in the Declaration of Independence, which also states that the purpose of government is to protect these rights. Uh, and abortion uh, clearly violates this right. So finally, it's worth mentioning that the Arizona Supreme Court simply followed the law. This is very important, right? Too often, tyrannical courts blatantly ignore the law because they don't like the outcome. And so could he, uh, Mr. Smith, Dave Smith, could he have brought that up beforehand, uh, knowing what the opposition was going to say? Sure, he could have, but he didn't. Uh, his points were valid, and Dr. Hines actually expressed his views as well. And so we just want to make sure that when we go to meetings like this, that we grasp what the opposition is going to say, say it first, address it, uh, and uh, deal with it first and then go ahead and make your points. But please let me know your thoughts on that because we are in a battle uh, for the soul of the nation. And believe it or not, we are winning. God bless you.